Hi, I'm Rodney, and I want to give an update on floppy reduction. I want to share the system I'm using to get the move count needed to get to floppy after half turn reduction. Uh, and since that's a lower limit on the number of turns needed to solve after HTR, uh, it's very useful for identifying and discarding uh, bad HTRs. First, let's establish some notation for labeling corner cases after you reach HTR. Similar to uh, domino corners, we're going to label them by the number of bad corners plus the number of U2 turns it takes to reach floppy reduction. So we're always looking at a corner and its partner, which is the other corner with the same side pairs. So here's blue, red, blue, red. So this case is a zero bad corners. Uh, all the corners are in floppy reduction. So if my pair is even, then I need zero moves. So that would be 0C0, and if parity is odd, then it's a 0C3, and that would, look like, um, that would look like that. Next case is when the uh, corner is opposite from its partner, so that would be like this. This is four bad corners. These are all good um, with respect to each other, but they're not good with respect to the bottom half, so that's four bad corners. Uh, and that can be either uh, one or two moves, so 4C1, 4C2. Uh, and then the third case is when the corner and its partner are on the same face. So here, um, the only two uh, corners that are good with respect to each other would be these two, well, or these two, these two, these two, but no, no more than two. So this is actually six bad corners. So that's six C, and it also takes one or two. So six C one or six C two. So that's six corner cases. If we don't count the mirror of the six C case where the uh, corner and its partner are here instead of here six cases, but we can uh, cut them in half because we have our choice of U or U prime when we enter HTR. That means we get a free U2 move. So if we have the 6C case, we can, uh, we can force it to be 6C odd parity. Um, and if we have the 4C case, then we can force it to the 0C case, where the 0C case might be even or odd parity. So we really only have three cases to consider, 0C0, 0C3, and 6C1. A quick note on checking parity. Uh, instead of blind tracing the corners, like I talked about in the first video, I find it's easier to just solve the corners uh, and then check the E slice. Uh, and you can make it easy on yourself by solving the corners using, using only FUR, uh, and you only need at most one, um, one uh, U2 move. So in this case, for example, this is a 6C case, so I can do FU uh, and then FU FR to solve the corners up to a rotation. Uh, and then I have even parity uh, in the E slice, and I use one, so this is odd parity. And I undo it, so now I know this is, this is a 6C1 case. Now the payoff. We're going to use a good old-fashioned tier list to rank the edge cases for each of the corner cases. Starting with the S tier case. 0C0 zero zero corners, no bad edges, they're already in floppy. The other good edge cases for 0C0 zero zero are easier to recognize because they have all the bad edges concentrated in one slice. So here's one with four bad, these are bad, and these are bad. That's solvable with U2, M2, U2. S2 slice in the middle also works. Here's a case with two bad, uh, and there's one on, uh, down here and one up here, so they're in a diagonal configuration. That's solvable with a U2 and a corner swap, U2. And then the last case is when you have two bad, uh, but they're in a bar, not a diagonal. So you do that by sol setting up the other case, F2, and then U2 corner swap, U2. For 0C3 corners, the interesting thing is that the good edge cases are also the ones in which the bad edges are concentrated into a single slice. However, you're going to have a minimum of uh, four moves, and most of the cases are six moves, so, uh, so it's uh, much worse. Uh, the way these solutions work kind of all follow the same principle, which is you start with your free U2, and now you, get in, now you want to get to, now you're in even parity. So you want to set up 60 corners, uh, and, then a two, uh, and then a three move trigger. So the way that works is, uh, if I bring this R2 down, now I have 6C corners with these uh, uh, with an R2 in the middle, and I have the bad edges, two bad edges like this in a diagonal, so that solves with U2, R2, U2. So that's the solution. Um, that's the four-move solution. Uh, the other ones have corner swaps in the middle to make them six movers, 
But if you actually notice, what did I just do here? That was a U2, R2, U2, R2, U2. So that's five of the six moves for a 2E, 2E swap that swaps the two in the E slice and two in, a, um, in the U or D slice. So this uh, zero C odd parity case basically always requires some um, 2E, 2E insertion like that, um, that affects, affects two, only two edges uh, in the UV slices and affects two in the, in the E slice. Uh, more than likely, instead of this form over here, you're going to uh, be able to find a, uh, another place in the skeleton uh, in which you can swap those two for less than four. For 61 corners, you're just one U2 move away from floppy, so you want there to be four bad edges, uh, two on each slice, and then you want to set up your corners and bring the, um, uh, all the bad edges to the same U or D face. So the best case is this two mover where you have, um, uh, I need an F2 to separate my two partner corners, uh, and that also brings the bad edge uh, to, the same, uh, to the same face here. So F2, U2 solves that. Um, and then the other good case, best case, is um, this case where I have two, two um, bad edges. But they're both in a diagonal. Um, and so then I can, I, I just need to bring them both up while setting up the corners, which I do with a corner swap by inserting the R2 before the F2. So R2, F2 uh, sets up the corners uh, and solves uh, the floppy. Uh, and then the other cases are all cases where you have to do more than just uh, a cancel uh, a corner swap with cancellations to bring all the bad edges to the to the top. For example, this case where I still have my edges like uh, here's a here's a bar bad edge and here's a slash bad edges, but these uh, are uh, not in alignment with the corners. If I set up the corners, I need the F two to set up the corners, but now I I didn't bring all the edges to the top so now in order to do that I need FRF RFR basically this 2E 2E insertion and so um, that's uh, considerably more moves. So that's the system pretty easy recognition of all the HDR cases that can reach floppy reduction in six moves or less. If you tried to memorize all the six moves HDR cases that's a lot of cases uh, I don't think anyone's managed to learn them all but here you have something almost as good because if your HDR is not one of the cases that I showed here, then it doesn't have a six move solution. So hopefully this will help you spend less time on hopeless HDRs uh, and spend more time generating ones that have a chance of being good.